Ever wondered why planes avoid flying over the Pacific Ocean? It's a question that's perhaps crossed your mind during a long-haul flight. This vast expanse of blue stretching as far as the eye can see seems a direct route to many destinations, yet our flight paths often steer clear of it. Today we delve into the intrigue that surrounds the Pacific Ocean flight path. This colossal water body, home to the deepest point on Earth, has been the subject of much speculation and curiosity. Is it the size, the winds, or perhaps something else entirely that makes pilots think twice before charting a course across it? In this video, we're going to explore the reasons behind this fascinating phenomenon. We'll look at the factors that influence the decisions of airlines and pilots and try to understand why this ocean, so serene and beautiful from above, is often given a wide berth by those in the sky. Stay tuned as we unravel the Pacific mystery. First off, let's discuss the Pacific Ocean's sheer size. Picture this. The Pacific Ocean is the largest and deepest ocean on our planet. Its expanse dwarfs all the Earth's land mass combined, making it a vast, daunting mass of water. Now imagine being an airline tasked with navigating this behemoth. It's not hard to see why the Pacific Ocean might not be the first choice for commercial airlines. The sheer size of the Pacific Ocean presents a unique challenge for aviation. It creates a vast stretch of territory where emergency landings become incredibly tricky. In the event of an unforeseen circumstance, an airplane would have to divert hundreds, maybe thousands of miles to find a suitable place for an emergency landing. This inherent risk, combined with the logistical challenges, makes the Pacific less attractive for commercial routes. Essentially, the Pacific Ocean's immense size is a significant deterrent for airlines. Now let's dive into the technicalities, starting with the ETOPS rule. ETOPS, or Extended Range Twin Engine Operational Performance Standards, is a regulation that's been in place for decades. It's a rule that restricts twin engine aircraft from flying routes that are more than a certain distance from emergency landing airports. This rule was implemented to ensure the safety of passengers and crew in the event of an engine failure. Now, how does this connect to the Pacific Ocean? Well, the Pacific Ocean is vast, and due to its size, there aren't many airports where an aircraft could make an emergency landing. This makes the Pacific Ocean a less attractive route for twin-engine aircraft, as they would often be more than the allowed distance from an emergency landing site. So while the Pacific may seem like a direct path between two points, the ETOPS rule forces aircraft to take a more roundabout route, ensuring safety above all else. Thus, the ETOPS rule plays a crucial role in why planes avoid the Pacific. Another significant reason is the wind. The Pacific Ocean, vast as it is, hosts a variety of prevalent wind patterns that can prove challenging for aircraft. Among these, the most influential is the jet stream, a band of strong winds that circle the Earth. These winds, found at high altitudes where commercial aircraft typically cruise, can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. When a plane is flying with the jet stream, it can enjoy a significant boost in speed, reducing flight times and saving fuel. However, when a plane is flying against it, the scenario changes dramatically. The aircraft has to exert more power, consuming more fuel to maintain its speed and altitude. This not only leads to higher costs, but also increases the duration of the flight. So the winds over the Pacific aren't exactly a plane's best friend. So, there you have it. We've demystified the reasons behind the seemingly puzzling route choices of airlines around the world. It all starts with the sheer size of the Pacific Ocean, a vast expanse of water that dwarfs even the largest of continents. This enormity poses a challenge to aircrafts, requiring them to carry a massive amount of fuel to cross it, which isn't always feasible. Then we have the Extended Range Twin Engine Operational Performance Standards, or the ETOPS rule for short. This regulation mandates that twin-engine planes stay within a certain distance from an alternate airport, adding another layer of complexity to navigating the Pacific. Lastly, the unpredictable and often harsh wind patterns over the Pacific Ocean can significantly affect an aircraft's fuel efficiency and safety, making it a less desirable route for airlines. These factors, when combined, make it more practical for airlines to avoid flying over the Pacific Ocean. Next time you're on a flight, you'll know why the Pacific Ocean isn't on your itinerary. Thank you for joining us on this journey. 